So I'm going to make a few closing remarks, but before I do, I would like to ask Tony to come up here, tell us a little bit about his impressions and how NGA can engage with us, and then the paths forward. Tony. Uh, thank you. Uh, first of all, I just want to thank everybody for uh, taking their time over the past uh, two days, really. It's been a very great workshop. Uh, a lot of uh, really smart people in the room uh, working on this issue and thinking about it. It's very diverse, and uh, I think we've gotten a lot of uh, different uh, information out here. It's been very useful. Uh, first, I want to make a disclaimer so that way whatever I say after this, you know I'm not where NGA is not doing all of this stuff. I'm just going to say these are opportunities that NGA may be able to do this. Uh, and that um, if there's something that NGA is not doing, this is a perfect opportunity for you, your, your uh, academic institutions, government agencies, whatever part affiliation you are, to pick this ball up and start running with it, right? So uh, one thing I did notice that uh, a lot of people have come to is, is just identifying what uh, data opportunities there are uh, to get data from NGA, and I think that's something NGA has not done a very good job on communicating. I know our previous director has been very good about uh, talking about how we need to work in the open. And uh, this is a perfect opportunity for me to go back to my leadership and say uh, we need to uh, start working uh, to figure out ways to communicate this so the academic community and our uh, other potential government uh, partners know exactly what we can do and what we can share and we can talk about, right? So that's uh, one aspect itself. Uh, another thing that really uh, kind of did pick up uh, a lot was that idea of uh, bringing the social uh, scientists into this quite a bit. Uh, many of you may not be aware, uh, but NGA has a partnership with the State Department uh, as part of the Worldwide Human Geography Data Working Group. It is not part of research that I'm part of, and so this is uh, definitely some area that I'll have to get buy-in from uh, my colleagues over in source. Uh, but they are, uh, they uh, have these uh, workshops typically on, uh, you know, annual to biannually basis where they bring in human geography, uh, you know, social scientists together with uh, different uh, communities of practice. So I participated in one that was focused on work, uh, food security uh, previously, and I know in the past there's been uh, those on wildlife trafficking and more recently here uh, looking at infectious disease, so human health. So there's definitely opportunities uh, to engage this, uh, this group to, to kind of uh, do this uh, potentially with uh, looking at a, uh, you know, from a groundwater uh, perspective that we've been talking about these past two days. Um, uh, there are also plenty of other opportunities in terms of some of the, uh, you know, just the academic, uh, you know, grant opportunities that we have, the BAA's opportunities uh, to look at these, uh, some of these very specific narrow topics that, uh, that we have. So I think there's definitely been a lot of things that I've been rapidly taking notes, and I know I haven't captured everything, but I am hoping that my colleagues over here to my right have been doing a much better job of that, and they're going to provide me that information, and I'm sure they will. Uh, but uh, we really couldn't make this possible without you. So uh, please give yourself a, a round of applause because you guys are the real champions in providing this information. Thank you. Thank you so much, Tony. Thank you very much for making this happen. Uh, I want to thank first uh, Megan and Patrick for doing the wonderful audiovisual communications at the back there. I mean. Uh, of course, they reminded us very politely to keep the microphone on. Uh, Eric, for loading all the presentation. I don't think it could have gone any smoother. And to Carly. Carly, stand up, please. She is actually leaving the academy soon. She's going to become a law student at Maryland. Environmental law, too. So uh, wonderful. Thank you so very much. <laughs> and to Lauren, you know, this, this was a marathon. Lauren thought it was a sprint. We would be done by January you know, 30th, and we'd all be you know, away. But Lauren was so great and gracious in hosting so many phone calls, Skypes. And you know, I used to respond to emails so uh, uh, quickly, but I always got back an email response even quicker. So Lauren, this is all because of you. Thank you so very much. <laughs> and finally, the boss, uh, Elizabeth. Uh, you know, with all these issues with this sequestration and the ODNI funding, uh, you know, whenever I talk to her, she said, don't worry, I think it's going to happen. And, you know, we are all very hopeful. So, Elizabeth, for shepherding this through to the end. And I know that uh, if 
Lauren, Elizabeth, if you need any help in the report, you can call on me or anybody else to interject, uh, to inter, enter stuff into the report. So on behalf of the organ planning committee, I would also like to thank all the members of the planning committee, Kathleen over here, Kamini and Antar, and the two people who couldn't be here, Jay and Dennis. Uh, I think without them, we couldn't have hosted such a great workshop as well as got all, all these questions and formats in place. So uh, thank you very much. And we're only five minutes into the soccer game. So you guys can go and watch a soccer game. Thank you very much. Have a great, have a great weekend and have a great 4th of July.